Hi, this is Lance from LangChain. We're continuing our Langsmith evaluation series focused on online evaluators. So the motivation for online evaluators is, let's say I have an app in production, like say it's a RAG app. I have a user asking questions, I'm performing retrieval, I'm generating an answer. <clears throat> now what if I want some kind of sanity check evaluation run every time my app is run? Like, here's a good example, does my answer contain hallucinations or not? That's something you might want to actually to have running in the background every time your app is producing generation to say, kind of flag erroneous generations as they're being done, right? So that's actually possible. And that's where online evaluators come in. So you can see it runs on user logs. Um, so that's like kind of user traffic in your application. Um, you can use different evaluators. Typically LM as a judge is, is pretty useful. We'll talk about that today. Now here's the key point, it's reference free. So it runs on the production logs as they're being generated. There's no ground truth per se that you actually have. And so that's a very important point. And we'll talk through that a little bit. Um, and again, yeah, you run it on, on kind of online production traffic. Now this can work because if you think about the types of RAG evaluation, for example, one of the types of evaluation that's pretty popular is of course comparing an answer to a reference answer or ground truth. Now that doesn't work very well because in an online setting, we're of course getting, you know, random user questions or open-end user questions. We don't have a ground truth answer for every question, right? But of course, these other types of evaluation like hallucinations comparing our answer to the retrieved documents. Uh, doc retrieval relevance is comparing question to the retrieved documents, or we can even look at question to answer in terms of like helpfulness. So these three evaluators, because they don't require ground truth, could actually be run as your app is producing generations. So let's just go back and look very quickly. Here's an example RAG app that I built before. So this actually doesn't use, this doesn't use Langchain. Um, it's just using, you know, a simple OpenAI wrapper. Um, and all that's happening is this. I have a vector store I've defined. I'm doing a document retrieval stage, and I'm doing an invoke LLM stage that's taking in my question, the docs, um, that have been retrieved, and I pass those to an LLM, here's my prompt, and I get my answer out. So it's super simple, right? Now let's zoom down. I'm gonna create a Langsmith project called RAG Online Evaluation, and I'm gonna invoke my RAG app with two different questions. Um, so again, my RAG app had, uh, the an index was the Langchain Expression Language Documentation. So these are two questions related to Langchain Expression Language, and these, these are just mocking user questions. That's all that's going on here. Um, so here it is, here's my project and these are the two generations. So the first question is, you know, how can I use a runnable Lambda? You can see the retrieve docs stage and the invoke LLM stage. And that's really it. So again, invoke LLM took our docs, it took our question and it returned our, uh, our, our answer. So that's all that's going on. Now here's where things are kind of interesting. So let's say, here's my project. It's an app I have running. It's in production. I'm getting user questions. Each question is getting processed with these two steps. <clears throat> if I go to add rules, this is where I can set up an online evaluator. So the first thing I want to look at is, let's say I want an on online evaluator for hallucinations. So hallucinations are really related to uh, this second stage in my app. So this invoke LLM function. Now recall, we made this traceable. So that means that's why that particular function was visible in Langsmith. Now this function takes in our question documents and returns an answer. So it's actually really nicely suited. If we could do an evaluation between the documents passed in and the answer returned at every generation of our app, that would be a very nice online evaluator. We could say, hey, does the answer ever contain information outside the scope of the documents? And if so, you know, flag that. So all we would need to do is we can just create a filter here so let's add a filter. We'll call the run name and we'll call this uh, invoke LLM. So this is the run we cared about. So that's cool. And we can see here's our two invoke LLM calls. So again, this took documents, question in, answer out. That's easy. Now let's just click online evaluator. We'll say create evaluator. And this is what's really nice. We have a few suggested evaluator prompts geared for common use cases. So this is one for hallucination. Uh, let's just click this. Now you can see we already have, so we have a nice system prompt here, your grader assessing whether or not a generation is grounded and supported by the documents um, and give a binary score of one or zero. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. This input and output thing. Now what is this? What this is, is this is automatically uh, just a dict that contains the inputs and the outputs of each run, which we filtered here. So what's pretty cool is it automatically knows what the inputs of this particular run are. If we go back to our app, remember, Here's our run, invoke LLM, 
question and documents in, and that's reflected right here. So question and documents. So my facts are going to be my documents. Input docs, that's great. And the output is just my generation. Now, what's really nice is I can use this preview button to actually look. What does this actually look like? So it's going to run this on my most recent trace or on my most recent run. So it actually is going to plumb in. Here's the facts. Looks pretty good. And here's the generation. So here's the, the answer. Um, so that's actually pretty nice. Um, and let's just yeah regenerate that. So we will put docs. And let's just see. Yeah, so actually we can do the same on the output. We can actually select output answer to get only the LM generation out. Um, so here's kind of what the output looks like. Um, we can also add fields. So we can say explanation. Let's just say we want explain your uh, reasoning for the score. This is pretty nice. We'll make this a string. So this is basically determining what the output of our evaluator is. So the output of our evaluator is going to be an int with a score, as we instruct here. It's going to operate on the facts and the LM generation. Um, and you know it's going to return yet yeah, this int, and, and we'll also return an explanation. Let's fix that spelling. Cool. So that's really it. So we'll continue here. We'll call this uh, hallucination online evaluator cool and we can save that so great so now we have this um evalu this online evaluator that's pinned to our project and you can see this in rules so let's go let's go back and let's kick off let's just say we ran these uh so now we've run our chain twice with two different kind of mock user inputs and we can go back and we can see we have these two new traces here in our project now what's interesting is if i open these up and remember, we have two different steps, retrieve docs, invoke LLM. And our online evaluator runs on that invoke LLM step or run. What's cool is now you can see in feedback, we have these grades. So I can actually zoom in here and I can open these up and I can look at what's going on. So what I can see is I now have uh, for each of these runs, a grade of one or zero and an explanation based upon um, you know why the LLM actually gave the grade. Um, and we have this in both cases. So this is a very nice example of how to set up an online evaluator pretty quickly for a RAG application. It runs on a particular run that we set. So in this case, invoke LLM. And if we zoom all the way back out, what's happening here is very simply that invoke LLM call took in question and docs, returns an answer. Our online evaluator, if we go up to our rule here, we can actually open it up, we can edit it. What we can see is that online evaluator uh, is scoring whether or not that generation is grounded in the facts and it returned to us uh, a score, one or zero, and an explanation to explain why it graded that. So this is running in production effectively um, you know, on this project and it'll run on every question that's asked by the user. And it gives us a really nice way to very quickly see, hey, you know, are there any generations that are apparently problematic? And of course, we can look at our, we can filter our project based upon feedback to highlight cases that, um, you know, there's many different filters you can actually apply here um, to highlight cases where the feedback is zero, in which case, you know, that would highlight a potentially erroneous generation that has hallucinations and we could dig into it further. So in any case, this gives you the, the broad strokes of how to set up online evaluators. In this case, for, you, for the RAG use case. Thanks.